Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I am your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. Back at you with some Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. We have some cool center blizzards here, guys, that kind of split this board up nicely. Something like Prussia is a powerful capital. Finland can also be a powerful capital, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to get any bonuses. I think Hungary is a good choice for me this game. And I don't see yellow. So yellow, yellow did not take Prussia, which I completely understand. Rusky yellow could have been good, but if yellow saw that blue or something was here, they could always go somewhere else. Like the bottom left-hand side of the board is quite open right now. You know, black sucks immediately. Then blasting that too uh, was silly. Now, 4v2 highly likely to succeed. So, green has pretty freaking good position on me this game. Like, it feels like we're playing from behind again with, like, uh, how things are going. Like, surely someone has to be in one border, Spain and West Africa here, right? Like, one person has to be there. Okay, blue is there. Obviously, I kind of lose this stack right here anyway. But I have at least one bonus uh, for myself. I can just kind of chill with this. White will have like a one bonus-ish or so. Unfortunately, we're getting hit a lot. Like, well, I, I'm kind of annoyed by Green's capital. I could go aggro against Green. Like, if Green were to attack here, I could aggressively try to hold uh, Romania down. I might decide to do that, actually. My last game, which was like a Twitch-only game, was just basically me, like, car skipping and passing for an hour and a half to win before somebody got bored and self-destructed. And we did just enough to, like, uh, maintain the balance and make people not think about self-destructing us. Because we were playing very seriously that game. Right now, guys, uh, and you're seeing this, like, post this, the Novice or Grandmaster finale was quite surprising. Where you guys saw the ending, and you guys thought, oh, we just missed it, the series is over. And then he comes back and says, nope, I just went back from Novice to Grandmaster for you guys again. Yeah, so green now gets 10. If green takes Eastern Europe, I get aggro against them. If green does not take Eastern Europe, I just stay chill with them. Oh, yeah, they're trying to take Eastern Europe, bro. Bro, that's way too aggro. I can't allow that. I'm got to get aggro here. No, green is a good capital choice. Like, blue's just down here. No one's fighting them. Black had a bad capital. Yeah, green's like, good luck. I can't let you have both bonuses, bro. That's too aggressive. Like, what am I supposed to do? Uh, is there anywhere else I could have capped that would not have been, like, completely sucky for me? Like, I guess I could have went up here in Russia. But then green would have had all of this, like, immediately. This was kind of needed to keep green in check. Green would have, like, completely snowballed this game otherwise. Yellow has 13, so yellow actually has Russia on uh, turn one. Black's in a tough spot. They're between two players right now. Okay, now green gets five. Do they blast my capital? Looks like yes. Okay. And GG. Easy. Easy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> You need at least one YouTube video, bro. I have YouTube videos for days, bro. I got YouTube videos for days.
So that was very lucky how that happened. That could have easily just ended our game. Let's try to hold it down like this. We got a lot of troops. And we were focusing on knocking out the green player. The question is, is like yellow want to now blast us. Because while we got a lot of troops, we also had to expend a lot to get towards like uh, this location. We really do have to be careful here right now. Wouldn't have had the balls to, to go into green like that. I, I had no choice, man. Green is gone now. Very fast elimination by them. Almost disgustingly fast elimination. You want... You gotta earn it. Now, though, we still kind of have to chill. Because even though we have a very positive kill-death ratio, like, both our capitals are pretty weak, we have an excellent position this game... And controlling the middle, we just really need to kind of take our time with this a little bit. Really kind of baby this position to leave us into a good spot overall. So right now I'm just going to do this and chill. Taking card and pass. Keep our capitals just strong enough. We have a set as we need it. We're going to let our opponents fight a little bit, build up our position, and then like look to push from there. Okay, yellow wants the uh, Orient. I get that. That's fine. Because I, I kind of made my move early, Against um, green, I have to chill a little bit now. Eventually, black will go in, or like yellow will go in, like an attack, right? The blue, with their position, is going to start pushing out, probably into yellow, I am guessing. Not yellow, white. So, this is a position where I just meant to chill a little bit. And also, like, when I attack green, I used up my troops, right? So now it's just kind of, like, babying the position. And also, look, like, green has had huge position on me, in, like, in late game. I had so much trouble with that. Like, I kind of had to, like, test green and, like, and dare them to do something. Whereas with yellow, yellow's cap is okay. They can get a lot of troops and certainly can't necessarily win. And this is capital... On Poland's good. Like, this capital in Hungary is just, like, let me hold two bonuses to maintain enough troop generation. Then, like, next move, I take over Eastern Europe. And then I'm actually in a very fair relationship, right? Because right now I'm getting 11. Yellow has a lot of troops there. But it's really unlikely that Yellow's going to backstab me because I've done some nice moves for them, right? I, I let them break me. I'm letting them hold their bonus. They're in a really good spot in this game because of me. So it's very unlikely they're going to think about, let's go into red and blast them. Unless you're like me and you're crazy, you're not going to do that. Yeah, so blue is like going to be... And what's also important is I need to be keeping yellow strong because if blue has like a two-point hold over this side of the board, like uh, white and black suck. So I kind of need yellow strong to work with me in the late game. Like there's a lot of benefits to not attacking yellow right now. I can't beat them before blue takes over the rest of the board. And with white getting five, they're out of this game. If we can even just hold this for one turn, we're fine. 
Like right now, yellow has 22. They have fair compensation. Worst case, even if yellow breaks my Eastern Europe, I'm fine with that because I don't want to be going to a war with them. The, the, the issue right this game is, is blue now. We can fight from this spot. Yeah, this is good. Now we can kind of just defend our capitals for a little bit. Because you have both white and uh, black getting five. The black wins the pointless war against white. Yep, blue gets 31. We knew this was happening. Yellow and I are going to have to go. And they trade in. This is why we saved. Okay, so that's blue. Blue is just kind of chilling and holding down the spot. They have a lot of troops off capital right now, though, and they're also trading in early. So even though they're getting 30 troops in a pretty secure position, I'm getting 24, right? The fact that I got 24 for how much? Once. Just once so far. Even having it once, this matters. And they trade in. Lucky trade in. So we definitely trade in here. We do not want to give the yellow player any thoughts or insinuations about wanting to take our capitals from us and trying to eliminate us. If we're on five and they have a set on three, it's not a crazy decision to want to try to kill us. Okay, black gets pummeled. Uh, I get pummeled. Oh no, black is just helping out blue. That's so unfortunate. Thankfully, I'm still holding the bonuses down, but now blue just gets 37. So since black attacked, yellow's bonus is already broken. Let's open up their capital and allow yellow out, right? We've been a very nice ally with yellow. Yellow's thinking red's my friend this game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. These guys are both working together. Okay. Let's trade in so as to not die. Yeah, and yellow's now opened up. We give yellow maximum flexibility to go do their thing. We let them cook. They did a fist pound. I'm guessing that fist pound was for blue. How much does yellow have left on capital after that? 84. So it looks like they sacrificed a lot. Blue black down just gets five. The black looks like they're just going all out against yellow here. Whatever. It's fine. This does help out blue. Like blue's not good. However, with them getting plus 40 per turn, with Seth being on 40, this is very dangerous. Thankfully, I'm still getting enough troops, right? Most turns I'm getting like, like 16 to 20, one turn plus 24. Like, I have enough compensation right now to be okay. The key is going to be leader goes to three out of six, and blue does their FU move, holding Prussia, Finland, half the board. That's uh, blue's win condition right now. Really cool win condition, like, uh, as well, if they're able to achieve it. Yeah, so people aren't going to let me hold Eastern Europe, but that's fine. Right now, I'm one card ahead of uh, Black. If Black has no set, we could do something, because the Blacks are just getting five, right? They cannot withstand this war. The Black's going to die. The problem is, is Blue. But Blue's not that very good. They have been saving a lot, because they had just a very lucky position and not getting punished at all for it. It's a very interesting game right now. Interesting dynamic. That's all Black has left. Black is, like, almost dead. So yellow must be trading in here. Question is, is blue go and kill black now and then go into their end game under troops like each, like on Finland, Prussia, and be like, I'm the Giga Chad, do something about it, play. 
It's like blue is now going attacking multiple amounts. Watch leaders to go three out of six. Well, because I, I have two. There's two capitals here. Yeah, so there's black. Yeah, so blue's just like uh holding all of this down now. Yeah, black had a set, so they would have been really annoying there. Okay, I want to know how much does blue have? The guarding here, thirties. We just go back. Yeah, so yellow can take that. I need to work with yellow now, though. Like, I just took out their enemy for them. I was nice with them. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to see this blue pop that stack. They trade in. Yeah, blue can't do anything crazy to us. Yeah, they're going to break. The blue is not good. In fact, they're not breaking yellow at all. They're allowing yellow to stabilize their position here, which is important. So blue can't get a two-point hold over the game right here. Lots of mistakes. The trick right now, guys, is to make sure that blue doesn't think about kamikaze into us. We just have to chill this for a little bit. We gotta let yellow get strong. We've been nothing but nice with yellow. Yellow want to work with us over blue. I think it's blue has some big stacks around. I can't afford the war against blue. I need yellow's help if we're going to do this. But blue is like full freaking chilling right now. Or at least blue can't take our capitals because blue stacks are blocked. We just stabilize this right now. This is a very interesting game. Like I'll cut some of this out based on like on what happens. Y'all thinks I have Germany. I don't have Germany. I'm just saving right now. I'm waiting for black blue to make the move to have a two point hold on the board. I have to save my troops until then. Like, we know what's going to happen, right? They're going to come... Like, Blue's going to make a mistake and overextend. Watch leaders to go to three out of six. Blue took the capital. I'm showing y'all I'm attacking here. I'm showing initiative and helping out yellow. I also opened them up. Watch leader go back down two out of six. Yep, yellow's going. Let's go. I'm reading this game so well. Let's see. When yellow attacked me from before 200, they threw 100 troops in. Very good. This means blue has lost a lot. Still getting 32, but I can trade in now and then blast blue hard back. Yellow and I have an alliance going with each other. I need to show yellow I can, I can work with them here.
Let's work with them here. Oh my gosh, that's a capital. Let's do that. Yep, and now yellow goes. I, I just... Blue does die here. Blue's only on two. Either way, though, yeah, blue got completely owned. This is just beautiful play right now. Beautiful alliance making that, we, uh, that we've done. Like, blue just got seven now. They've lost their entire game. I'm on 212. Yellow's already traded in. And it's on like, like uh, probably 200 as well. Yeah, Blue's out of this game completely. We're going to be getting a good bajillion troops on the next turn. This is just a uh, all of XC classic right now. I love it. Blue, I think, might be giving up here. Obviously, if I knew they were going to quit, I would leave this stack here. Yeah, I think Blue is truly giving up here now. And blue has too many troops. They can't do anything. They're offline. So I have a, 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 a even a set here. So like yellow can go and take a capital if they want to right now from me. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah, they can take this capital away, but that's 60 troops. They die if they do that. They have to get a good roll. They lose a hundred, like 100, 100 troops. I just kill them. 120. Yep, they're dead. So right now they have a 20 left. So my 9 just goes out and clears out all of this. Yep. And now since the blue player is given up, guys, this implies that the yellow player automatically gets second place. And I can just take them out now. Yell, you're an excellent ally. I'm so glad to be giving you second in this game. You play this game like a champ. And you, my good sir, are a freaking... Hero, thanks for making this an amazing game. I love playing with players like you that know what they're doing and know what's expected to be happening in this game. And guys, if you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing and following me on Twitch. Good game and well played. What an excellent game. This is Olive XC. And Sublime signing out.